into a tough little final stretch here of the season. Uh, we are taking on the Colts today. We got the Chargers, Bengals, and Chiefs after them. So it is going to be a tough little four-game stretch here. But if we win them all, I think we're probably making playoffs. But do we want that? Or do we want to throw and, you know, get a better draft pick? Who knows? Uh, let's see here. We do have a team meeting today. Of course. Actually, throwing the season away uh, goes against rules and everything, but. Any player specifically? I don't even know what they're talking about. Um, I think Javante getting two rushing touchdowns is going to be more likely than 125 yards, to be honest. So we will go with that goal. Playoff picture right now, we're obviously out of it. Chiefs, Raiders in it, from our division at least. Yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, right now we are dead last in the AFC West. And we currently hold. Let's take a look at what picks we got. Picks 2 and 16 so far. So. Yes. Yeah, so, I don't know. Maybe we do make a playoff push and then, you know, we obviously have. The top pick with the Cardinals. We'll just get right into this game. I did do um, the weekly strategy off cam. Yeah, I just didn't have to see all that. Taking on Anthony Richardson in the 11 and 2 Indianapolis Colts. Got a feeling it's going to be a tough one today. But I'm thinking if we lose this one, yeah, there's really not a chance that we're making playoffs. So at that point, I think that we just kind of you know, rest starters and. And enjoy the rest of the season with the bench. Anthony Richardson to Josh Downs, gain of seven. This one to Michael Pittman. Picking up the first up to the 45. Yeah, this Colts team is... Yeah, honestly, it's not horrible, but it's just like a bunch of... I want to say no-name stars, but... No-name stars, like Michael Pittman Jr. I mean, he's kind of made a name for himself, but... I feel like his first couple years in the league just wasn't anything that deep ball to Josh Jones might go high there with the pass breakup I did ball hawk that I didn't thought maybe we could get a pick instead of just a pass deflection but we're a little aggressive there John Franco Myers making a big hit on AR To a guy, dude. I really don't understand this game sometimes. Richardson will give it to Taylor. 
Jonathan Taylor with that one. Gain of about three. Go right back to the air. And Michael Thomas. I'm gonna guess it's Michael Thomas. Was a free agent, so not surprised if they picked him up. Anthony Richardson keeping the play or the read option there, forcing a fourth and six, and they're gonna bring the field goal team out and make it three nothing. Bo Nix coming out now. 3,500 yards, 29 touchdowns, 22 interceptions. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't talk about those. You know, you know who threw a lot of t a bunch of interceptions this rookie year? Came one of the best quarterbacks ever. Peyton Man. So, I'm fine throwing a bunch of interceptions with a rookie. He turned down anything like Payton. I think he's okay with that too. He'll dump down to Javante. Gain of three. Just have no time to throw. Bring up fourth down. Go punt this one away. See if Anthony Richardson and the crew do anything different on this drive. Being a big hit on Jonathan Taylor there. For a gain of eight. You give it right back to him. Slow him down a little bit, not enough to take him down. He's gonna pick up the first at midfield at the 50. When picked off and make a hide. I, I thought Williams was a little bit closer. I feel like, you know, that wasn't a bad play, right? Micah Hyde definitely should have pitched that a little bit better. Obviously, he looks back. No seats there. Pitches it. If he pitches that correctly to Greedy Williams there, he goes to the outside. Potentially a touchdown. But it is what it is. Thought I was making a great play, ended up making a stupid one, and hopefully they don't score off of that. I still want to say it's Michael Thomas. Could just check, but we're going to play a guessing game here. I'll bring us to the end of the first. Third and five, Indy up three nothing. Backfield empty. Five receivers in the formation for third down and five. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Yeah, I totally missed the big old hit. Big first down with Anthony Richardson inside the 20. Flag probably rough in the passer. Yep. 
Go figure. Oh, Bob's so tired today. I feel like I yawn every single video. Yeah, just play behind him. That's all right. Gonna take a 10 nothing lead here. Six forty one left in the first half. See if our offense can do anything different besides a three and out here. Marvin Mims with a big return up to the forty. Oh, I always feel like we're getting a, get like a nice break of space. Like ah. This be a touchdown. Then it ain't anything but up to the forty. Yeah, two with Javante there. Pass out to Sutton, good for, good for a couple. The third and three. Troy Franklin, good on the sideline. Right, the red zone at the twenty. Josh Reynolds on the crosser. It's in the 10 at the 9. Let's try and pound the rock here. Javante hit and the ball comes out. Somebody dive on it. Defense is going to pick it up. Javante looks to be injured, but don't know because man don't know how to put in injury. Tex anymore. Cody Barn laying a big hit. He ain't getting his two touchdowns today. That sucks. I feel like that could have been a potential breakout for him. Forgot what Sutton got after his thing, but I like it. Maybe it wasn't a breakout. No, obviously it wasn't a breakout. Or I Sutton would be superstar right now. He was just boost for the team, but yeah, sucks that we're not gonna get that. Yeah, it would have been nice to know that he was injured right away instead of just guessing. I've seen people lay in that position before, and then they're completely fine. So, this is what it is, I guess. So, so only so much I can complain about it. I posted about the, posted to them on X, tweeted to them on Twitter. You know what I mean? Any difference? It's all the same. With the catch good for the first, that uh, brings to the two-minute warning. Ten nothing. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in balls on time, results in a nice first down pick. Now they are in big Josh Downs, big first down inside the red zone. To the fourteen. On the move at the fourteen yard line. It's first and ten. Richardson to throw. Josh Jones with the touchdown. 17-0. It plays 80 yards to 80. Off the clock. Minute 40 left. We need a yawn tracker. How many times I've yawned today so far? Across 
Broncos offense ready to take over once more. They trail this one 17 to nothing now. Really need to find some inspiration. Crosser by Josh Reynolds. Good for the first up to the 46. The first down. Now Nick's going to look to throw. The jump ball for Troy Franklin. Almost caught. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Oh, it's such a bad throw by me. Picked off by Kenny Moore. Can't bring him down. It's gonna be a pick six, 24-0. Y'all might think I'm actually throwing. I ain't. I'm trying here. Just don't know what happened with that one. I can tell you what happened. It was thrown behind him. Actually, wasn't even a bad throw. He just ran past it. Sideline to Dulcet, she catches it. Up to the 46. Little overthrown for Sutton. Gonna take off with Nick. Slide. It's a first up to 40. 33 seconds left. Let's try and get a go ball for Sutton here. Nope. Throw it up to Dulcich though. Dulcich can't come down with it. Brings up second down. That one for Dulcich. No pressure on him. Wide open. Getting the touchdown. 18 seconds left. Kick is good. Cut the lead down to 17. Second Turn up to the 25. See what this offense has for us. To just run it out with JT as expected. Again, would have been nice to know my guy was hurt. Another run. Richardson holding on to this one. I want to hit him. Get him injured. Get him out of here. Ruin their season. Go throw it deep, defend the inside run. Very one sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. <laughs> Bim's getting pile drived. Mims up to midfield. Kevin's playing in the garbage. Yeah, 
we go. So quick out to Dulcich. Laughlin on the outside. It's a little spin up to the 33, gain of 10. Devin Colt. Breaks a couple tackles. He's going to have a touchdown on that. I thought he was down. Cuts the score, or cuts the deficit down to 10. To 24-14. Stephens just has to keep the pressure on Indy. He's in the force to get him down, I guess. What the hell is going on here? Oh, we ain't gonna talk about that, boys. Michael Thomas, catch up to the 21. Pass broken up by Cody Barr, and that ended up getting a lot lower than I thought it was going to. Probably could have just picked it. That's yeah, Josh Downs. Good. Stop. Third and seven. Could hold him to a field goal here. And we don't. Michael Pittman with the catch. Up to the four. First and goal. First and goal. Play inside leverage. Just kidding. It's going right outside, and that picked off by the rookie Abrams Drain. That's his seven, seventh interception so far this year. Franklin on the post. And Reynolds caught in between a couple defenders there. Good for the first, up to the 37. Reynolds again. Fender jumps in front of it. Breaking up the pass. Dulcich, a little screen pass. Gain a three there. Third and seven. Deep pass for Franklin, intercepted. Uh, by the former Bronco, Justin Simmons. I know he is a Falcon in real life. We obviously started this before the season started in real life. And Abrams Dream with another pick. This went up to the 21 yard line. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we started the franchise before the season started in real life. Colt signed him in the preseason. God damn it. All the lie, I guess. I, I thought that looked good. Right there, he snuck out a little bit. I should have probably freeformed it up to the corner, but... I feel like right there is as soon as you can let go and I I did that. 
I don't know. He took an E, no? They saying because he landed at the one? It takes an E? Or we just break the game? We're gonna crash. And a two. I don't know if I want to run commit here again. Should have. Doesn't matter because we get the safety on Jonathan Taylor. John Frank Myers. It's going to make it an eight point game. Our Mims up to the 32. Onyx gonna come back out. Showing double A gap blitz. Run it with McLaughlin with a gain of one. I think Chris Amon Strain is gonna get rookie of the year, which will boost him up to superstar. Possibly X Factor, but I doubt that. He has had so many interceptions so far this year. It's kind of crazy. I know that we are passing a lot this game. Passing to the dirt. But, I don't know, I just feel like after the fumble... Javante is it's hard to keep the ball on the ground there. But they do have a lot of hard hitters. They also got a lot of ball hawks, as we have seen today. But with the score, I feel like I'm going to be more pass heavy than anything. Pass to Devin Colt. Good for the first up within the red zone at the 19. Go off and gain a four. Second and six. Here's a second and six. Should have Reynolds here. Working out of the gun. It's Nick. Nope. So stupid. What am I doing, bro? It's up to the 47. Richardson here on first down. Pittman good. It's Tanley and a big hit there. It's under six minutes left. Down to five and a half now. Give me that pick. Zach Allen injured. Uh, Abram Strain could have had his third pick of the day. Bruce Cernum. Pass is caught for a touchdown, Jelani Woods. Fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two score advantage. 
Yeah, I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. He fields it at the eight. Oh, he's got Dorset, big return past the 40, up to the 48. Dulcich trying to push Justin Simmons off of him. Taken down within the 10 at the 9. Lynn McLaughlin run up the middle. Good. So they get the touchdown, and now it is a nine-point game. Greg, you can go for one and make it a one-possession game. Or some people think about going for two here. What would you do? I think I'm going for two, Mike. Listen, the way you have to look at it is I need a two-point conversion at some point. But I Yeah, here you go for two. Am I down truly two scores? and truly make it a one score so i'm going for two now and i want to know what the rest of this game looks like oh what am i doing bro i said nowhere to go with it everybody was covered just couldn't run away unfortunate from the six here comes a return what Way they're taking this back. Switch me to the wrong guy. I died the wrong way. So dumb, bro. But... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Pass to Troy Franklin caught. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. Six. Got to throw it here on first down. Dulcich picked off. That's going to be the game, boys. Unfortunate, but. Bring us to the two minute warning here. Doubt that they stamp the ball. JT. So the run up to the 28. He's up third and two. Bring up fourth and four. Really have to save our timeouts here. We're down three scores, dude. See if we score, get the two. It's gonna be 30 to 39. Score again, get a two. 38, 39, and still win by one. Get me out of this game. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping to win. They are 11 and 2, so I think that we put up a pretty good fight here. Sucks that this is the result, but. Oh, 
situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs also sucks that Javante got hurt pretty early on he's kind of stuck with the passing game from there was actually waiting to or looking forward to using the run game a little bit more Sutton gets a little bit of space we'll go ahead and get the touchdown not like it matters Devin Colt good with the two point conversion We'll go for a onside kick. Thank you. Looking to double up here. Score the touchdown. They want more. They're lining up for an onside kick. Oh, if you would have fumbled, boy. You would have fumbled. Recover this score. Recover another one. Score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And this game's all but over. Do have a chance. Very, very, very slim chance, but we have a chance. That'll be our final timeout. To the 17. We just run this play again. Hopefully, Sun can get that same bump. Nope. One second left. Devin Cope with a big catch downfield. All for nothing. 39-30 is going to be your final here in Denver. Tough loss. Now we're for sure out of the playoffs. Jeez, 464 yards. Lots of upgrades here. One for Greg. Uh, we're going to go vertical thread on him. Course. One for Bo and one for AD. AD, we are going to go slot. She gets good man and zone upgrades. Just zone this time. Bunch of other stuff, which is nice. And Bo next, we are going to give him strong arm. That'll put him up to an 80 overall. Of course, this challenge should not get completed because Javante Williams got injured. How could you have done a better job? You died. All right, all right. All right, next week we are taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. Abrams drained seven interceptions so far this year. Not shabby at all. Playoff picture. Obviously, we're out of it. Colts taking the two seed. So we could knock the Chargers out. I think that would put uh that would put Las Vegas and Los Angeles at a tiebreaker, sort of. Not really, but. 
Yeah, I'm thinking right now we just sell out the rest of the year. And yeah. Rider high picks, you know. I'm excited for this draft class. Hopefully we can get a couple amazing players. Gonna have to try and scout it pretty deep because we do have a lot of fourth round picks. I might try and trade up for a third, maybe a two, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Leave a like. If you are new here, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next week when we take on the Chargers. Tell them to stay cool. Peace.